Hello everyone and welcome to the video lecture series of mobile application development. Students, in our previous session, we have seen that what do we mean by the graphics in Android. We have also seen that how we can override the onDraw method as well as the canvas classes and the paint classes usage. Now, in this lecture, we are going to learn about the animations in Android. Welcome once again. This is your instructor, Janice Shah. So, now let's start with the very first animation which is known as bitmap animation. But before going or before uh, teaching you the bitmap animation, I just want to tell you that animations has the four different types. In the upcoming lectures, we are going to learn about the bitmap animation, then twin animation, view animation and frame animations. So, there are four different animations are there, bitmap, frame, view and twin animations. Okay. So, let's start with the first bitmap animation. See, here in the code, I have written over there the PNG image in the drawable folder. What you need? You need one image students here one image we can consider it as a bitmap so the what i'm going to do that i'm just i have one runner.png in my computer okay then copied the image from any other location of a desktop or the pc and paste it in the drawable folder by doing these steps you can easily copy and paste the bitmap image in the drawable folder Next, when we go further, what we need to do over here students, we need to make the class which is known as animation. Remember, this is not a bad default class in Android, but we need to create it. Okay, so how to create a class? You already know that just right click on the your folder com.example.something, whatever your project name and make a class, give the class name animate and so students we need to create a public class animate that extends view class okay so to create the bitmap animation what i need first i need a bitmap object and second one is x and y coordinates sir why do you need the x and y coordinate this question should come arise in your mind students here the x and the y coordinates are helpful us to give the motion to the bitmap okay so here i have three different variables number one is you can see over here is bitmap bm integer x and integer y where bitmap bm is the use to give the image path or i can say the bitmap image to create the bitmap image and x and y are the coordinates for students you need to create the constructor for this constructor is used to initialize the each and every objects but this constructor contains the object as a main activity context. So here I have passed the public animate main activity context, super context, then initialize the BM over here with BM factory dot record resources, get resources, comma r dot drawable dot runner. Let me repeat it bitmap factory dot record resource, get resources, comma r dot drawable dot runner. See, this is the runner is the image that we have copied and pasted it inside the drawable folder. Now, by default, the X and Y coordinate should be at zero. Next, see what next below of that, you need to override a method which is known as on draw because we need to give some animation. That's why by using the bitmap uh, object, we need to give the animation to the bitmap that's why we, we are going inside the or we are going to override the on draw method which contains canvas as an object as the previous graphics example right so first what i'm going to do this i'm just going to draw a rectangle over here which contains size as canvas get width dot canvas dot get height okay which starts from left top zero zero i have already told you so it draws a rectangle which contains canvas get width and get height now create the object of the paint class by writing paint pa is equal to new paint now pa dot set color so color first i'm going to reset the color as a blue color and style is fill 
Now, canvas the draw rectangle. This draws the rectangle for it. Now, if the x is less than canvas dot get width, that means what is going to be happen over here, students? That if the coordinate x is less than canvas dot get width, then it will increase the size by 10. That means the first x coordinate is over here. By default, we put it at zero. So the canvas width. See the canvas width is whole screen. Fine. This is your whole screen is your canvas. So here the zero point is over here. Then if the x is less than canvas dot get width, definitely the condition is satisfied. So it will it will increase the size by 10. So x coordinate will be go, going over here. And y again it will increase the y size at 10. So again it will go over here. So instead of your this position, your canvas point will taken over here. Your bitmap image will go down by x10 and y10. Okay, else it is zero zero. So I draw the canvas bm comma x comma y comma new paint and bm the draw bitmap canvas the draw bitmap that creates the bitmap image over the canvas. See the very first time it will be x zero zero. Okay, now what happens? And the next time I have written a method which is known as invalidate. Students, this method is used to call this method is used to call the bitmap canvas draw bitmap function again and again. That's why what is going to be happen over here whenever you try to run the code. See, first a bitmap image will be here, then it will appear down, then down, then down. Again, here, then down, down, and down. See, we'll see this by running the application code. Okay, so this is how students you can create the bitmap image uh, animation, but to create it, we need to add it in the main activity. So here the public class main activity extends app compatibility. What you need to do over there? See super dot on create saved intents is by default is as it is. Now create the object of the anim animate class. So your animate anim is my object. Anyways, you go to new animate context this and then. Just set the content view is as an im. Okay, so this is how students do not forget to pass your set content view, or I can say the animated object Q object inside the set content view method. So this is how students you can create the animation. Now let's run the code and see the output, or we can say let me just show you the coding part. See here we have the drawable class launcher xml and i have added the render.png over here this is my animate class see inside the animate class i have taken the bitmap bm integer x comma y this is the constructor of that uh, i have initialized the bm object and xy coordinate over here then this is the overrided on draw method okay so this is the rectangle creation paint object set color set style canvas dot draw rectangle this is how we can animate the bitmap image by increasing the x and y coordinate by 10 10 and this method is used canvas dot draw bitmap is used to draw the bitmap on the canvas and the invalidate is used to repeat the calling of the particular method fine once again this is my main activity dot java file where i have created one animate object is anim and create the object and set the content view as anim fine now let me run the code and show you the output okay students so now just uh, let me the code for this and show you the output that how it works so here i have connected my phone and let me just run the output so this is the output the animation will start from the here 00, zero then it will make the difference of the 10 Okay, so it will. Why it is in a blue color? Because I have set the new paint as a canvas color as blue. If you change it to the white, then and the make it the position instead of 10. Let me just make it as 25. And here it is uh, once again 25. So let me just restart the activity and show you the output that how it works. Just wait for a minute. see you can see the difference between the previous animation and this right 
so just uh, change the values of x and y and check this bitmap animation at your home okay start so students this is all about the bitmap animation if you have any doubt in this lecture then please feel free to ask me thank you so much